Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods 4. This episode we're going to start off by getting some Wither Roses. <laughs> do you know, I didn't know how to do this, but I figured it out by reading the wiki. So let's get started with that, shall we? Well, Wither Roses are actually made by um, the end, the Wither killing mobs. So what I've done here is I've got all these an put all these animals here and, and punched them until they're about one heart. They're about half a heart. <laughs> Because when the weather explodes, he does about half a heart's damage to everything. So I've got this bit prepared already. So let's get up here and put the heads down. Close the thing. Stand back a bit over here. I have to be about beyond this wall here, and it should be okay. I don't get hit. Then and then you should see all of these guys. <laughs> die <laughs> as you see and i picked up whole bits and pieces with them so let's just get rid of this weather shall we now, on this sword i've added two more enchants wisdom four which is going to give us um some more xp when he dies i've got 37 at the moment i'd quite like to add another level of sharpness to it but i can't do that i could do it with this one of course on the axe I didn't use that. I didn't use that. Do that. So I've got two with the roses there, and there'll probably be some more planted down here. Yes, there you go. So all those mobs that. Oops, what's happened there? I don't. Oh, they don't like me, huh? So at least we now have enough with the roses. <laughs> it was very mean, of course, but of course it only. Why oh, can't I jump up? Is that because I've got some enchant? So. Don't see anything. No. Yes, no, I can do it. Right. So with all these wither roses that we've just picked up, we should be able to make the wither enchant charm, which we haven't done yet either. So have I got the bits I need? Yes, I have. I've got some of these crystallized amber. So let's have a look at the uses of that here. You try again. I've got to click the box. I always keep forgetting I've got to click the to the box here. So we should be able to make the witherproof the wither charm. This one. So we need three blocks of iron. We can do that. We just need three blocks of iron. So we've got the wither roses and the crystallized amber. So three blocks of iron. Uh, I should have plenty of iron. Let's just do it like that and do the recipe for these. And again, I don't know why I'm doing this for actually recipe. Right, three plus one. And to put that round there, then we should have the the wither charm, wither protection. So now we've got wither protection, so we could actually go and test this. You see I've got quite a few flowers in here, seven in there, and I actually got some more. Um no, is it? Do I'm treating those as a mob drop? I think it would treat those as a mob drop. Let's put those into that. I've also got quite a few uh, nether stars. <laughs> I was busy grinding nethers, uh, withers, I mean. So I've got quite a few of those. I've uh, obviously got some more raw meat and these. We'll just put these back. And let's put into here the other bits and pieces. Our raw foods up here. Let's put that up to there like that. Iron, we can put, let's get rid of this stuff that we don't want, and iron will just put it back up in here like that. So that's cleared this out. So now we've got this um, wither protection charm. I should also go and put this back. I've got some anvils with me at the moment. Um, not sure why. I'll just put them in there for the time being. I was doing some stuff, and the, these leads I was using for the for the animals to capture the animals and put them into that fenced in area. I also got the fences, let's put those away. And now, so I've got a reasonably empty inventory, is what I was looking for. I should go and put this back, and I'll put the soul sand and the. with the skeleton skulls into here. Sand, soul sand, would I put soul sand? I think I put it into the blocks just in here, like this. You yes, right, okay. So, next thing. I would actually like to start doing some more 
um, pneumatograph repressurized. Now, pneumatograph repressurized has actually changed a little bit. But before I go and do that, I want to do this mod here, dim, dim storage. Now, dim, dim storage is fairly straightforward, especially at the moment because we've got a lot, a lot of items. So it's not got very many items in it. So it's got a dimensional chest and it's got these dimensional tanks and, and a dimensional tablet. So first of all, we need to let's have a look. What do we need for that? So we need eight dimensional walls and one dimensional core for this. Uh, for for this, we need another dimensional core. Obsidian iron glass planes, nothing. That's the dimensional core, and this is dimensional. So we need quite a bit of iron and redstone. So that's, that makes four. What do we need for the tanks? Oh, we need a cauldron. Okay, good. And four walls. All right, so let's get let's get crafting this stuff up. I should have everything that I need in the here. So let's start with this one. So we want want some of these. How many are we gonna make? I've got enough redstone. Okay, no big deal. Got plenty of redstone. get a couple of stacks and right try again of course we've got plenty of diamonds one two oops yeah i need to put this i need to put this back into the into the box there so we can get some you see again i'm getting i know why i'm actually getting these um achievements because i changed my user <laughs> let's do four of these to start with let's do these Let's make 16. I don't know how many we need to start with. So then we'll make a dimensional chest. Does that not go in the middle? Let's have a look. Oh yes, I need to make this one first of all. So we can now make the dimensional chest. So look, the uses of this just for this, look, the uses of that is just to make these up. Okay, so we'll use it. We'll put those two into there like that. And we'll make these dimensional. Dimensional cores, good. So we can also make a cauldron, because we're going to need one of those. Let's take that, put it into it, make a cauldron for the tank. And so now we should be, we've got the chest. So let's go and make the next one along here, the tank. And let's go and make the next thing along here, which is the tablet. There's a lot of lightning at the moment, but that's just because I was uh, disenchanting some stuff. Uh, and as you can see, this I've actually increased this sword. Now it's got Wisdom 4 and Disjunction 5 on it. Disjunction, what that does is increase the damage done to Endermen and Wither Skeletons. It's a bit like being of Anthropods. So what am I going to do over here? Right, let's put this chest down. It's, I think this is just purely interdimensional, so let's put it down somewhere like this. Now we'll look at it. So it's a chest. And then you can make it public and you can change its frequency. So it's an interdimensional chest. So let's go and make a second one of these because obviously you're going to need more than one. Tell you what, I'm, I'll make a couple of these and I'll be back in a second. So right, I've made two. I've made two of each. Actually, I made two tanks and two um, chests. Let's put, the, let's put this one down here. This is also on a... Let's check it. It's, it's frequency one. So let's put something into this. Let's put in this... Um, sticky hopper uh, sticky piston you'll see it's in both chests like this so if you change the frequency then and we change it to say two or oh, 12 let's change it to 12 you see it's disappeared it should just be in this one so if we change the frequency on this one to being 12 it disappeared where's it gone to <laughs> right it's in it's it's obviously in, in channel one let's just make this channel let's hope it doesn't disappear actually change that there we go there didn't disappear it just went into some sort of void and the same is true for liquids so let's put down a tank here i'm just going to put it beside here i don't think it needs to be beside let's have a look at the user interface on this yeah it's the same thing frequencies here and liquid so let's get a bucket of water out of our water is always good it's a bucket of water let's put this into here i don't know how much the capacity of these tanks we'll soon see so you can see it's in both like that take it out it's gone from both so um so look let's just put the water what happened to the water <laughs> has it just disappeared 
That's strange. Let's get another bucket of water. Put it back in again. So look what we got on the user interface now. So it's got a 1,000 milli bucket. It doesn't tell you. It tells you the temperature too. Well, that's interesting. And whether it's gaseous. So these are obviously quite powerful. I don't think this is powerful in this mod, but they're, they're fairly powerful anyway. Locked. Oh, you can lock it and you can make it idle. Um, obviously, if you're locking it, then you, you you can change the ownership to being just me or being public. Uh, idle. I'm not sure what that does. To be honest with you, I'd have to look it up. But for the time being, I'm not going to bother with that. So that's basically that. So it's a way of, and you can pipe stuff into it, I believe, as well. Let's just try that. Let's go and get a quick piston. <clears throat> I suppose you can pipe liquids and and items in there. So we'll just quickly get a hopper out of here. I've probably got a hopper in this chest. Nope, I haven't. We've used up quite a lot of iron, though. Obviously, we can do it other ways. We don't have to use hoppers. Hoppers are easy to do, so let's just get something like that. Oh, yeah, we'll put the iron in there, shall we? I'm just wondering. It's been a while since I've actually uh, had any uh, phantoms, so I was just looking for a quick look in the sky. So if I press shift on this one, oh, you see it's like that. And then we should be able to put the items in here. Yeah, and sure enough, they're going into here and a different channel. Channel one, huh? Yeah, there we go. So we've got 13 I only oh, actually when you look at them you, you see that they open at the same time so you you can see they are linked together. So they're they're sort of handy, so that'll be great for mining. So I'm going to do that next time I do that. But next thing I want to do is Well, there's a few more mods have been added to the pack and, and uh one of those is um Let's have a look at it. First of all, was pneumatic after pressurized. Another one that been added was reliquy, and um, right here we go. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Now, what we basically always we need to do with with any of this stuff is we need to get um, we need to make some pressure a pressurized. That's a programmable controller. We need that later on. We need to make this compressed iron ingots. And the way you do that, if you look at the recipe for this, is you can explode it. So you need, and that will produce, one block will produce nine, no, okay, so exploding it. Sorry, let's try that. So you put an iron and you explode it up and you get a 20% material loss. And that will give you um, some of these. Now, to, we'll do that. We've got a pressurized chamber which gives you zero percent. Now to make the pressurized chamber, so we'll look at this one. We need I think probably the smallest one would be twenty-seven minus one. So, so we'd need two stacks of these. So let's get on and do it. So first thing is I'm gonna put down a bit of obsidian. Um I think my obsidian's not in there. I've got quite a few bits and pieces in there, as you may have noticed. Dark marble on obsidian here we go we need some TNT I wonder if we've got any TNT oh we need a lever or something to, to actually activate it let's just get a lever out of here I've got some levers in here I think it's this one no this one So we'll just make a little, <clears throat> a simple little well. What I'm going to do is actually going to remove all of this. We don't need any of this here. So I'll do it. I'll just do that and come back in a few seconds. Right before I, st I forgot, and I should have done this. This is a dimensional chest, and I've been to the uh, another yet another mining dimension and put down, replaced the chest I had there for this one. So now we've got all the items which are in that chest. Should have done that in the beginning, actually, to be honest with you. Don't know why I didn't. So if I shift right click this on here, so this is now linked. So everything you can see in the chest is also linked to the tablet. I should have done that as well. Never mind. So right, back to pneumatic craft repressurized. Um first thing I'm gonna do is I have to turn off my uh 
not that one, I want this one, I'll to turn this one off. So that's the one with the magnet 3 in it. Otherwise, when I put stuff in here, it's going to be picked up. So let's just put down some TNT down here like that. And on top of the TNT, I'm just going to put um, some iron, which I haven't got yet. But we'll also put a lever here on the on the side of this. Where's my lever gone to? Um, I've probably put it in this chest here. I've been uh, this backpack. No, I haven't. I don't see where it's gone to. I'll have to get another one. Right, I'll be back in a second. With the iron and that. Well, it's in my offhand, isn't it? <laughs> so let's just can I right click this with this. Oh yes, I can good. So it's in my off hand anyway, so I've got a stack of iron in here, so let's just chuck this iron on top of it here like this. So we get a 20% loss. Let's hope that sits in the right place. It does. Let's blow it up. Get out of the way a bit. I'm not sure how far off to be to that's right. What happened there? Oh yes, there it is, look. So I've got my f first explosion of many. Indeed, it will be. So how many did we get? We got 53. That's good. So the first thing we have to build is two things. We have to build some low-pressure pipes. And we also have to... I hope that's enough, by the way. And we also have to build a pressure chamber and a compressor. Those are the th three key things we need to make to start with. So let's have a look at that one. TNT. Well, actually, we'll make another block of TNT just in case I haven't got enough. Uh, I don't think we've got any t t TNT anywhere, else, but it's already in the recipe box. Let's get that out of there. Let's get the sand out. Gonna put those away. Yeah. So I picked up a tree from that sapling. Blow up a tree. That's interesting. I didn't expect that to happen. Never seen that before, but interesting anyway. So right, let's carry on with this. So we need. Um, let's see if I can find it. So we need to make a pressurized chamber and we also need to make some valves in the pressurized chamber so let's get on with that one to start with where if I, where is the pressure all oh, right let's look at uses of this here so as you can see there's a lot of uses for it and of course there's another mod in here which is just coming as well silent gear which uh, we've actually got some bits for so I'm just having a quick look to see where it is can't find it I can't see it straight away uh, here we that's pressurized chamber valve so we need to make a pressurized tube so to make that we just need some dark just some glass and two pieces of compressed iron so we should be able to make that up glass i hope i've got some more glass in here yep i have i don't think it has to be anything special indeed it doesn't just ordinary glass i'm surprised it didn't make the recipe when i clicked it in to be honest with you so the next thing we need is the walls for the pressure chamber. Um, it should tell me here. So we've got pressurized chamber valve, which we need. It's not actually essential to start with, but let's just see if I was pressure to ask the one we want. So we need 16 of these. We need two sets of this at least. So we need, and we should be able to make those up from reinforced bricks. Sorry, what did I just do then? Uses of that one. Am I looking at the wrong thing? Reinforced stone. Pressurized chamber wall. Okay, so we need eight of those to make 16. Right, sorry. So for that, we need reinforced stone. So for that, we need one of those and plus some stone. We should be able to do that easily enough. Let's just shift click that into there and put it in four. Let's make four sets of this. 32. Let's take the stone out of there and then put this around here. So we need two sets of this, don't we? So let's half that. And then we needed some iron in the middle of this. Nope, wrong. Wrong recipe, what I'm thinking of. Let's have a look at uses of these. It'd probably the easiest way to do it that way. Twenty-eight will just about do. We'll do thirty-two anyway. So let's set this up. And then we need to make the compressor. And I should have time to do that in this episode. So let's just see. I don't think we need this construction anymore. So maybe I can break it all out. Bef yeah, I'll break it all out. I do actually need more space than I've got here. As you can see, that works quite nicely. And we'll put the 
actually I can put it down one block anyway, it doesn't make much difference. So we should simply, ah, wrong thing, sorry. This is actually new, I don't remember having to do this before, so I'm a little bit confused. And it's actually just one version later on from, well, it wasn't really Minecraft 13, it was done with that very much for mods, but 12 and 14 have been, so let's have a look at that, sorry, the uses of this one. Okay, we can make steps. There's only two recipes for this. Ah, oh, we can make some glass. That would be quite good to do. Is this the one we want to do? I want 16. My inventory is full. No, not quite. These aren't too expensive once you've got this the chamber. But we also need a valve. That was the other thing we needed to make. To let the pressure go in and out. Now, we can actually break it. So we just make this one should be able to make one of these because we only need one and I, I'm gonna have to do something with my inventory now actually I could put this back on again can't I let's just do it like this <laughs> sorry about this let's right click oops no let's right click this there we go so now we should be able to build it up we should also get some valves input and output valves as well but for the very initial build you can do without that so let's just 31 of these so we need to be able to pipe in the pressure and we always have to pipe that in from one face in the middle here like this. It's a tiny weeny thing this is, so let's just fill it in. And you have to have glass. You've got to have these, you can't have them on the corners basically. So that's the glass there wants to go in that one block there, don't I? Let's put that down there. So one side we're going to put the valve and this has got more space so we'll put the valve down here. If I can get it into my hand nice. And the other side we'll put some glass so we can see what's going on it. So that in on inside what's happening inside, I mean. Handy as it happens. And then we need to make a compressor too, so let's get that done as well. So the simple one is this, just the air compressor. So for that we need some reinforced bricks and a uh, furnace and a tube which is not a big deal that's we've got all of that already um what else do we need we need some fuel for the coal i don't need the lever anymore building up the pressure and then let's get rid of this i should put quite a few things away in there as it happens so it's fine uh, i would like to get rid of the hopper too and take the redstone out it doesn't belong in there can also get rid of these trees, don't need the trees with me. Right, that's a bit that's a bit better. I'll also put this diamond chest away as well because I don't need that with me at the, at the moment. So we can put an ordering chest away as well, so we don't need those. That gives us a bit more space in the inventory, which is what I wanted. The reinforced bricks, yes, good. The other thing we could do is have a look at the input and output valves as it as well. Um, no, not what they're called. Not valves, they are called, I think they might be called ports. No, not those. I forgot the name of them, but I know what they look like, roughly. Let's have a look. Those are the high pressure ones. A pressure chamber interface. All right, okay, how oh, good. We can make two of those. I think this is what we need. Let's click these into place so we've got those. And we wanted to make some glass, didn't I? That was the other thing I came back to make. Um, there we go, pressure cl chamber glass. So we can either, we'd just make one of those. I think would probably be sensible just with some glass. And again, it didn't take it out of here because I think it was the wrong color of glass and didn't audit it through. like that. At the moment we only need one so I didn't make a whole stack of those. Which of course is what you'd do at the beginning anyway. So so now let's put that down there and then it forms as you saw it gives us a nice little 
sort of smoke thing. So what we're going to have to do now is put these two interfaces down and decide that on the pressure chamber interface. So that means we're going to have to break those again. And of course, it'll it'll deform it. So that's if that's the right word. There we go. So we should be able to put one of those here. And let's put the other one over this side. If I can reach it. Yeah, we can. So that's the input. Oh, yes, of course. I need to take this one out of here. You have to put it from the right direction. So I want to put the first one down here like that. And that goes outwards. Press shift on it and that way. So this time you can see it's opened up here. So it's got stuff that you can put in it. Um, the valve goes in here. So all we need to do for this is to put a, a piece of tubing down here. So let's put down, say, two pieces of tubing. Because one thing we have to wor worry about is with pneumat pneumaticraft is things blowing up. So we don't want things to blow up. So you can put your pressure chamber down here. You can put multiple pressure chambers into it. And then we can create a, a valve to, to rescue it. So what have we got in here? So let's, for example, put into here some iron. Oh, I see, I flicked that out when I was doing it. Let's go and get some coal or charcoal. I've got plenty of coal, so we might as well use coal. As you can see, well, less charcoal for that's unusual as it happens for me anyway. I'm not really a big charcoal user anyway, so let's be honest with that. And I think I'll eat as well. So what have we got? I wanted to make another thing. I want to make a pressure release valve. Pneumatic cylinder. I've got to remember because what exactly it looks like. You see, things like this have changed. The capacitors have changed and the transistors have changed. They're a little bit different. This one, safety tube module. So for that, we need two levers, a pressure tube and one of these. So that we can make easily a pressure gauge, <laughs> which turns it into that. That's fine. So we can do the pressure release valve, this one. We should be able to make craft that straight in now so we can make one of these in here. So that'll prevent it from blowing up. And I also wanted to get some iron, didn't I? Um, quick think, have I got any iron in here? No, I've got some iron ore. Let's put those into there. Let's put those back into here, then we'll get some iron dust out of that. Did I not do this? Do you know what I should be doing with this? I should be automating this. I thought about it. Um, why haven't I automated it? And put the rest into the hop here. Then it can feed its way through. Make some iron dust, so that's two stacks. While I'm there, let's just get some it doesn't matter for the start we'll have to do a lot more of this get the iron out of here um where did the iron go to there we go 46 in here she's not very many as it happens but there we are but i've got plenty in this chest i think we've got plenty in here let's have a quick look as you can see if i sort it you can see i've got stacks and stacks of iron ore so there's no shortage of that so what you need to do to feed stuff into this is to use hoppers um, and the, the best hoppers are the ones from pneumaticraft so let's just first of all start by putting some coal into this let's put the safety valve down here like this uh, where should we put it I think here and you can right click this and then it gives it so threshold is 4.9 bar that's great maximum pressures for that receiving zero resistance so it should automatically finish let the air out when we get it. So let's shift some coal into this like that. So it's building up pressure. And we should see the pressure in here also increasing. As you can see it is. It's going up very slowly. It goes up quite slowly. So we've got the status pressure change. So that's fine. That's working fine. As you can see, warnings. No valid items in the chamber. Pressure is coming up. Good. So now we need to get some items in and some items out. And what you have to do is to let's just make some of these hoppers from pneumatic craft because they are great so we're going to look see where, where they are I'm being a bit blind but i'm not sure why let's have a look at your hopper here we go they've got a, a liquid hopper and they've got an omnidirectional hopper so an omnidirectional hopper is a chest and some compressed iron so can we can make another one of those. Yes, we can. Let's do that again. We've got two levers there, I noticed. Let's just get some more levers out because you need to control this with redstone signals. Where 
they gone to? See, things are going in strange places when you take stuff out. Let's put that gold back to where it belongs. And the levers should be here. There we go. Take a couple of levers out of there. Let's put the gold back into this. So while we've been doing that, the pressure should have built up enough. In here to be able to do the first bit. So what you do is you put your hopper on. Let me put the hopper straight onto here like this. No, I have to shift click it in. There we go. It looks funny because it can sit down and you can put items into here. So we put down, for example, one iron ingot. You see, it's got taken in here, into here. We should see it closing. And then the other side is opened. So what we have to do then is we have to look in here. You'll see this is actually going to build up with pressure and it's got nowhere to go yet because we haven't got an output hopper. So when this is built up with pressure, it will convert to a compressed iron. So look, does it tell us? Yes, it does. So we've got the recipes in here. So it'll tell us packed ice, for instance, we can make an empty PCBs um, and various things that we can make, etching acid, which we're gonna have to do later on, but compressed iron, so it needs two bar for one ingot. But if you stick a stack in, you're gonna need a lot more than one ingot's worth of stuff. Problems? And sufficient pressure so it will be increasing still so if I look at this it should tell us where does it tell me here pressure chamber so you see it's going up the air is going in and it's going up it's quite slow so it makes sense to build a second compressor to do this so that so while that's doing this let's go and build a second compressor I just heard a, an illager just outside the village there And you'll see the different types of compressors, but the one you usually start with is this one, of course. I need some coal, but I'll pinch some coal from the other compressor there, uh, from the other compressor. So what I can do is put it down like this, take another piece of pipe, my last pipe as it happens, and click it into place. So that's then going to have, it'll give it some bar at the moment, just two of that. Let's have a look at this. We've got quite a lot left. Let's put 31 of these. Put 30 in here. So now it's going to have twice the amount of pressure going into the valve like this. At any second now, we should see this convert. As you can see, it's going up a lot faster than it was before with just the one pressure valve in there so the next thing we need to do is to get this out of this when it converts well it won't be very long you can see actually it's 1.9 on the top left hand side and the we can see it's 1.982 oh actually that flipped it out straight into my okay that's new I didn't know see because oh, I've got a magnet on all right fine so let's put some more in here so I've got 36 at the moment let's put in four um, one, two, three, four. So they should all go in at the same time. And I think it's got enough pressure in here already. Now this time it didn't pop into my inventory very, but it has popped out here. Look, as you can see here, we've got this. I can actually, I can't remove it from here. Export crafted. Yeah, that's used in most cases. So let's put down a lever, say, uh, let's put down a lever here. We'll do it this way around so we give the redstone signal to the... We need the redstone signal on here, don't we? So we put the redstone signal on here. And that will... i press it down. I'll shift after shift it on. So that will then give a redstone signal to this. And that will stop the doors opening and closing. Let's just do the same on this side like this. So at the moment it's off. And you can see, if I apply the redstone signal, it, it doesn't make any difference here at the moment, but it should make it on the other side. So let's put down the, the hopper, that one. Like that. And you'll see it's taking it out. Uh, ah, yes, there we got here, mode. Okay, 
So the mode is normal hopper operation or leave one item in the slot to filter. Okay, so we want normal hopper op operations. What happened there? I just saw they get... Oh, they just got pulled straight out. Oh, fine. Okay, so we've got 41 of those now. But as you as you saw, so if I close it, on, turn it on like this, this, this one's also on, I put some iron in here. 41, let's put another one in there. It shouldn't, and I'm saying that. Oh, right, it has it's gone in. Has it already been converted? Let's have a look. I haven't got it in my inventory, that's fine. Yeah, it's already come out all the way through there, just like that. Actually, this seems to be a lot easier than it used to be. <laughs> well, I thought that's how it worked. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I can have to put, maybe this isn't being applied to this. Let's just make sure this is applied to there. Put it down on the ground like that. And then turn this in and then put another piece of iron in there. Nope, it's still going through. Upper status, 2.5. Because you can speed up these hoppers as well. Let's have a look. Redstone behavior always on. Now oh, that's what I'm doing. High signal. So this will only act on a redstone signal high. And what about this one here? It's just got the same thing. Upgrades, no. We can add upgrades to it. Warnings, no items and the thing there. So now it's going to have a redstone signal. So I'll try that again. Um, maybe that redstone signal needs to be moved. Okay. Strange. I would have thought it would have worked there. Oh, on high, of course, yes. So I'll put one of those in. This time it's low, so now it stays in there, as I was hoping. Flick it, gone in, so it's now in the pressure chamber. It will now be converted to compressed iron, and we flick this one, it should come straight out into here already. Of course, if we change this signal here to high, the same behavior on high, it'll stop it doing that. So we've got three pieces in there, put one more in to finish it off. high so it's on high so let's turn it off so it stays there good turn it on goes into the chamber this is on let's turn it off it's already been processed it's coming to the output port here and it's been picked up by the hopper maybe that's the way it's supposed to work <laughs> now you can hear well maybe you can't hear this valve is is going through so what we need to do now is to turn it off so we'll turn it off by taking out the coal. So we don't need the coal to be used up. This will carry on using that up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the rest of this iron I've got in here into this. And we'll see what happens. You see it stopped doing the pressure because it's activating the valve. And also because the coals may have finished. So it's got 36 to go in there. That's good. And as you can hear, those have been picked up and so we're looking here, all gone. Already done, fantastic, how about that? So we've got our full stack of, this. these have gone off because there's no, the pressure's now 2.3 bar, because it uses up quite a lot when it does the compression. That's it, whew. So we have our very first bit of pneumatic repressurized. I'm going to need a lot more space than this. Uh, the automation seems to be a lot easier than it used to be, so that's great. You don't have to detect what's inside it to turn it on and off. It just does it automatically. We'll find out anyway uh, as we go through. So next time we'll carry on. So next time we'll carry on with Pneumatograph Repressurized. Until then, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Bye for now.